Well, we're a little more than a month away from the California Rodeo Salinas, but some of the festivities are actually getting started already. Tonight, the Rodeo teamed up with the Mammography Center at Salinas Valley Memorial Hospital and the Tough Enough to Wear Pink campaign. The event, Toast the Tatas. Celebrating women, the fight against cancer, and the Western community united to beat the disease. Action News reporter Brittany Nielsen was there. She's live with more from Salinas. Well, Dan, the Tough Enough to Wear Pink campaign is in its 10th year, and this year will be the ninth year that it's the marquee event at the Thursday night performance, the first night of the California Rodeo Salinas, which raises money that stays right here in the Salinas Valley to help cancer patients fight for their lives. And I genuinely thank you for what you've done, and I thank you for being here and for toasting the tatas. They're toasting the tatas, and the clever marketing behind it is a fun way to take on a very serious subject. So it was February of 2013 that I found a lump in my breast. Cancer survivor Kelly Moffitt and women like her are the reason Tough Enough to Wear Pink began 10 years ago. Back then, Kelly had no idea she'd have to undergo a year of treatments to save her life. Her breast cancer turned into brain cancer. Dr. Hagegat ordered an MRI, and that very same day, like I didn't even get home, he called me up and he said, There's a tumor in your brain, you've got to turn around to the hospital and we've got to take it out. God, that was the, that had to be the scariest moment in my life. I, I didn't believe him. After a year, Kelly has finished treatments. Her hair is growing back. And she's thanking Tough Enough to Wear Pink and founder Terry Wheatley for supporting local research centers. Wheatley posed the pink challenge to pro rodeo cowboys at the national finals rodeo, their Super Bowl, in 2004. Her son said yes. She wasn't sure what the others would say. I remember that night when the, the shoot gates opened and we were hoping that 25% of the cowboys would ride out in pink and every single one of them came out in a pink shirt or had a pink scarf or had a pink armband or something on. Ten years and $12 million later, a lot of pink has ridden through rodeo arenas across the nation, supporting Kelly and the millions like her. And this is really the first event of the rodeo season that's getting everyone in the cowboy spirit, prepping us for the next month and a half to come. After tonight, the rodeo is hosting a bunch of events, beginning July 11th with the Brad Paisley concert, the official kickoff to the rodeo this year. That's followed by the Kitty Capers Parade and the Como del Rodeo Parade on the 12th, Cowboy Poetry on the 13th, the PBR on the 16th, and then the rodeo itself, which begins on the 17th and runs through the 20th. And on that Thursday night, again, the first night of the four performances that we will see this year at the California Rodeo Salinas. One dollar from each ticket sold will go to the Nancy Osonio Mammography Center at the Salinas Valley Memorial Hospital. Dan. All right, very good. Thanks very much, Brittany. Tickets are available for all the events. You can get them at the box office by phone or online at carodeo.com.